Hey there boys and girls, like Skillfaker here, and today I have something special for you guys. It will be a dual commentary between me and Choppy. His link is in the description down below, you should definitely check him out. He's a really good sniper and he's doing awesome videos. But yeah, um, we're going to talk a little bit about Battlefield 4 and how we would like to see the sniping in there. This is also a two-part dual commentary, so this is the first part on my channel. Don't forget to check out the second part on his channel. And yeah, I'm going to switch over to the dual com now. So today we're going to talk a little bit about sniping and Battlefield 4. So what are your thoughts or what would you like to see in Battlefield 4 for the sniping or the recon class? Uh, well, there, there's a lot of things I would like to see kind of changed, but the biggest thing is probably suppression, which you already made a video about. But I guess as far as suppression goes, I would kind of like, I think the idea about suppression is a good idea, but if they took away the, the whole uh, making your bullet spray go crazy, if they took away that, then suppression would be good with, you know, just blur and all that. Yeah, I think <coughs> if it's just blurry and no, like, bullet deviation, bullet spread would be perfectly fine with me too. I think that's really a big problem because now it's mainly about luck and if you're a recon player and someone just like shoots near you somewhere, your shots are going like in the opposite direction. It's <laughs> yeah. terrible. That's crazy. It's like if you're in a sniper fight, you want to be hit so you don't get suppressed instead of just, you know, him missing you. So it's kind of yeah, stupid. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that kind of sucks. Yeah. Um, another idea I had um, about the scope glint. Actually, I don't like have anything about the scope glint. I don't think it's like too bad or anything but I think something which actually would make more sense if the scope glint, scope glint would only work if you're aiming at someone so because someone I'm like running around and I just see the scope glint of other recons yeah. and it's all over the place and uh, that kind of sucks because like you're running around and then someone spots you because of the glint so I don't know yeah. and like maybe if you if only like if you were facing the sun or something it's kind of ridiculous on the night maps and stuff and you know you have a giant, a giant glint on your scope that's kind of stupid i think yeah it's, it's definitely <coughs> way too much maybe they should turn it down like you said if, only if you're like um aiming towards the sun or something and maybe not no scope glint in darker maps or really like almost none scope no blah, blah, blah. <laughs> almost no <laughs> okay. scope glint well, yeah, I guess another thing you could talk about is um, the sounds and, ish and stuff because I've seen you, you know, you know play a little bit of, of blah, talk a, play a little bit of Bad Company 2 lately. And um, I kind of like Bad Company 2 because the sounds are really strong and you feel that the sniper, you know, the sniper rifles have that power, which you don't feel in Battlefield 3, in my opinion. Yeah, yeah, that's true. I also like the sounds in Bad Company 2 a lot better. It really feels like they are, like, packing a real punch in Battlefield 3. It sounds a little bit more like someone's just clacking two parts of metal against each other, like, ding! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that's kind of how it is. I, it's kind of, it's kind of. I don't know. I really hope they kind of fix the sounds. Um, and a lot of people say that you know the sounds are realistic and all in Battlefield Three, but I really like them in Bad Company Two. And especially another feature that I like in Bad Company Two is that every time you no scope, you will get a one high hit kill. I don't know if you know this or not, but you probably do. Yeah. So I think since we're talking lots of Battlefield Bad Company Two right now, um, how would you like to see it? Um, like in Battlefield Four sniping, like the damage model, more like Battlefield Three or Battlefield Bad Company Two. Um, I, I don't really know, like, I think in Bad Company 2 they did a pretty good job with, like, if you play on Hardcore, you will always get a one high hit kill in the chest, and I think you're on the foot as well, but I think it would be good if you had the, the big part of your chest and the stomach, but not on the, you know, his feet or his hands or so. Yeah, I also, li I also actually like how they made the balance in Battlefield Bad Company 2, I think they actually managed to balance the stuff really good there. But on the other hand, I also like sniping Battlefield 3. And I really think without a suppression would be maybe already enough. I mean, we already got the upper like chest hitbox. Yeah. And maybe only problem would be that um, the bullets can be like eaten by the arms. So normally the, <laughs> yeah. the players are holding like the weapons in front of them. So it blocks kind of the chat, uh, chest box area. So you can only normally get them from behind or something. Maybe if they like change something right there. Yeah, just like penetrating the arms or something, so you would actually get a one-hit kill anywhere on the chest. I think that would actually be great, so, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> so the, definitely the recon class would be more viable, but it would still take, um, like, enough skill to, to play it. So, because yeah. this is a problem I had in Bad Company 2, I mean, I think the snipers there, or the recon players, were a little bit too strong. I mean, I've seen lots of bad players kind of, like, camping with the recon kit off in the distance or something. So, yeah. Yeah, and doing good, that kind of sucks, because... Obviously, they have not trained a lot, and they can do good. So, I, I kind of want the sniping to be skilled, but at the same time, not too easy, because then everybody can do it, and that's not just not something that's special, and it's not that enjoyable, I guess. Yeah, yeah, right. So, 
something I thought about too, uh, something else, would be um, more diversity for sniper rifles. So right now we, um, they're kind of pretty much the same. I know it's kind of, even <coughs> though the stats are only like, um, they are only a little bit different. It still feels like yeah. a lot, but um, I think that the sniper rifles in Bad Company 2 had like, they were more different. If you think about how many uh, rifle yeah. has like a 10 round magazine, five round magazine and different damages. Uh, damage yeah, I think that was, and stuff. that was great. Um, but maybe you could kind of like change the models with like having, you know, for example, bigger um, bigger ammunition to deal more damage. But then, for example, your bullets would travel slower or something to kind of have, you know, more attachments and at the same time kind of make more and change it to the game, I guess.